Hey everybody, Q with Penta here. I thought I'd jump on here and talk about a feature of our control software uh, that maybe you know about, maybe you don't, uh, but it can be hugely beneficial and hugely helpful uh, for programming and simplifying workflow and things like that. Uh, and that feature is RWO. Uh, so RWO stands for Rotated Work Offsets. It's effectively uh, the same thing as dynamic work offsets uh, used on Haas machines, if you're familiar with that. And uh, basically allows you to uh, set your work coordinate system origin somewhere other than the center of rotation. So on a five axis machine, without this feature, uh, you need to program your part around the center of rotation, that your 0, 0, 0, 0 point has to be at that center of rotation. Um, that is essentially where the uh, center of the A axis and the center of the B axis meet. It's essentially this point right here. Uh, we call it the B table offset. We send that uh, value with all of our machines in case people need it or want to use it. Um, but that point just doesn't move. That's why we can use it, that, uh, can use it and need to use it if we're not using RWO. <clears throat> the challenge with that spot and, and program around that, as you can see here, is that now our part and stock has to be perfectly aligned uh, in relation to that, that part, or excuse me, that point. And so while this is pretty easy to do here on, in CAM, we can do it, we can kind of set it wherever. The hard part is when you get to the machine where you actually need to mimic or perfectly copy what you've done in CAM. You have to make sure that, you know, top of that face of that stock is exactly the same distance um, to that center of rotation as it is in your CAM and so on. And so that can get challenging if you have slightly different size stock than you realized or um, you need to move things for reach or whatever the case might be that can cause issues it can cause, mis cause misalignment it can it can be a, a real challenge uh, and, and it also requires much more uh, thinking and planning and whatnot on the cam side of things making sure you can actually achieve that position in real life the nice thing about RWO is now we can set our work coordinate system origin to a no another known point a, a more uh, convenient point that we can actually locate once we get to the machine. So you can see here I've just chosen uh, the corner. Uh, this would essentially be the what we call the front uh, front right corner. Uh, basically uh, the spot where we can easily do a touch off. We can set our G54 or whatever work offset we decide to use off that corner. Because it's off that corner, we can now put this stock and part wherever we want on this table. So if we need to offset it one direction or the other, that's fine. If the stock's bigger or smaller, that's fine. It doesn't matter because we are going off of the corner of the stock instead of this fixed point on the machine. So of course, this simplifies things significantly, both on the cam side of things and the uh, machine side of things. Um, it makes it easier to transition from one part to the next as well um, because uh, you, you can just always have your points set here um, and run from there or maybe on your vice or something like that. Uh, so that simplifies things quite a bit. Um, <clears throat> now it is worth understanding that this is only doable or RWO only works on three plus two machining. So uh, simultaneous five axis machining where four or more axes are running at the same time. Um, won't work with RWO. It, it can't do the proper translations. So if you're doing three plus two machining, you know, basically faceted or, or uh, positional machining where you cut from one side, rotate, cut from the other side, things like that. RWO works great. It's nice and simple and predictable. That is available. RWO is available on as low as 4.8.1 as far as software versions go on our on the pocket nc machines that's our legacy software is that 4.8.1 so if you have it updated to kinetic control you do still have that feature uh, <clears throat> however if you are looking to do true five axis seeing the five axis uh tool paths and, and cutting you will need tcpc which is essentially rwo but for five axis tool paths that TCPC is only available on kinetic control, uh, so you would need to upgrade to kinetic control to have that uh, feature as well. We may do a video elaborating on that a bit more, but it is essentially the same as RWO, just uh, for those five axis tool pads. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, hopefully that's something uh, that would, could be helpful for you guys if you're not already using it or you're considering the machine and wondering if it has this ability. Um, yeah, hopefully that answers those questions answers those questions. If you have any other questions or are curious about um, this or RWO or anything else Pocket NC related, definitely reach out, drop us a comment when we'd love to help. Have a good one.